Technology and the internet are changing how we behave in romantic relationships, sometimes for worse, and it's brought us closer in many ways, expanding our notions of how we can organize our lives and interact with people we care about. But have you ever thought about how your use of technology may be affecting your romantic relationships? So in today's video, we're going to discuss three behaviors that may indicate that your use of technology may be souring rather than enhancing your romantic relationships. But first, if you're new to this channel, I'm Jordan Travers. I'm a licensed clinical psychotherapist and the clinical director of Awake Therapy. If you're interested in learning more about Awake Therapy, you can click on the link in the description. And if you're in need of psychological or emotional support, feel free to book an initial consultation with one of our therapists by visiting our website at www.awaketherapy.me. The first thing that's harming your relationship is the act of fubbing. Fubbing is when you ignore your partner for your smartphone, and it's a common behavior that can gnaw at the fabric of your relationship. A study published in Personality and Individual Differences calls the phenomenon phenomenon of fubbing a social allergen. If not addressed, fubbing can lead to larger problems. So what can you do about it? It's advisable to nip your nubbing habit in the bud, keeping healthy boundaries with your smartphone like setting a rule that phones go in a no-touch basket after 8 p.m. Benefits not just your relationship but also your mental and physical health. The next way technology could be harming your relationship is ghosting. Ghosting is a popular non-confrontational relationship termination technique that involves a complete withdrawal of communication from one member of the relationship. Although it may seem convenient, research warns that ghosting can incur great psychological costs for both the ghoster and the ghostee. Being ghosted by someone special can have negative consequences for the ghostee, including lack of closure, confusion of responsibility, and avoiding future vulnerability. Therefore, it's better to end the relationship in a more respectful and meaningful way. And thirdly is evaluating the possibility of erotic content addiction. While occasional shared viewing of porn can be healthy for a couple, an overindulgence or addiction to porn in one or both members of a relationship is a definite red flag. Unlimited access to an unregulated consumption of porn can have a corrosive effect on your sense of self and your relationship. Porn addiction can lead to problems like anxiety, depression, a, a lowered sense of self-worth, objectification of potential partners, and a warped sense of reality. It's essential to understand that porn addiction can be a serious problem that can affect both the addicted and their partner. So in conclusion, relationships change with time and technology. Technologies. It's upon us to carefully examine such changes to determine which ones we want to accept and which would be better off walking away from. Keep in mind that healthy boundaries with technology, honest communication, and respect are key elements to maintaining a healthy relationship. Thanks for watching. I hope you found today's content helpful. Make sure to subscribe to receive updates when a new video is posted. And remember, platforms like YouTube are an excellent resource for getting information out to others. However, it does not take the place of individualized psychotherapy. If you're in need of mental health assistance, whether to talk through a current issue or are in hopes to create a more prosperous and fulfilling life, you can book an initial consultation using the link in the description. I look forward to speaking with you soon. Bye.